Shit, what a fuck. I wonder if I should stop here. This seems like it might be a good stopping point. I don't know. I don't know. This game <laughs> is going to take so long. Be a good stopping point, wouldn't you think? Oh, what? Am I dead? Was that a game over, or was that supposed to happen? I have no idea. Who's Ashley? This is too much. It makes my stomach churl, I know. Oh, 
Did he just say, oh yeah? Pick that shit up. Ugh. Now I'm probably about to die. What other horror games have you played, Neff? Of course, he's like literally gatekeeping right now. Can't get over there where I need to go because he's riding away. Big fan of the OG titles, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and Parasite Eve. You ever played, um, Visage? Keep coming this way. Keep coming, keep coming. Good game. Uh, yeah, the inventory system is hard to get used to, but uh, yeah, I love the shit out of this. It's probably my favorite horror game that I've played to this day. How far along have I gotten? What's up, Akka? Um, I've gotten... I, I mean, I don't know. I want to say I'm past the halfway point. Neff might be able to tell us here, but he, uh... Because he's played this before. But... Since the last stream, I've made a pretty decent amount of progress, I think. been a minute since I've been in uh, in the summer stream. Yeah, I know. I'm about to be uh, 
trying to find a stopping point though and play Halo or something. Lucy's story was trauma. Oh yeah. I thought the Dolores chapter was the scariest though. I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at, where I've been. I think I might just be trying to find something to cut that lock. Yeah, yeah, the Raycan chapter, it was kind of disappointing since that was the one we were all waiting on. Or like, you know, the... Besides Dwayne. Like the end of the game. But it was still dark. I loved it. I think I'm halfway. Halfway. Yeah, that's what I'm, I was thinking. That's good. That's good. This is like my fourth stream on the game, I think. Or fifth. just went the damn vent. What's Visage about? It's about people going fucking crazy and then haunting you after they're dead. <laughs> to be vague about it. Visage has a really interesting story because it's kind of based on some true shit. I have a I have a playthrough of it on YouTube if you want to watch it, Akka. It's... It's awesome. It's my favorite game. Favorite horror game. Uh. Yeah, that's a good way to explain it. There are three different stories that happen in the same house. But there's a lot of layers to visage in the story. And I like the way that the game tells you or like the story unfolds itself over time like the beginning of the game the very beginning the opening cutscene is like dark as fuck but you don't understand really what happened or why it happened but then it, eventually you kind of figure it out the game tells you over time Oh, that's nice. Hurry up! You can't get me in here, right? Eh, you suck because you're fat. I gave you, like, the back of the cover summary. Yeah. What are you doing? Turn around. Go do something else. What's up, Bernhard? Wow, everybody's tuning in at the same time. It's so crazy. Is it, like, dumb scary? Uh, what do you mean by dumb scary? 
Oh, like, you mean, like, dumb as in, like, ridiculously scary? It's scarier to play than it is to watch. The cool thing about Visage is there are a lot of secret, like, scary things that happen, but you have to do something really specific to trigger, like, these events. And But if you do, like, if you just so happen to do the things that trigger them, then you're in for a scary surprise. just don't look at them they won't see you <laughs> I think see it worked <coughs> okay if I can quit being noisy as fucking hell I'd probably be okay Earlier, I was hiding in this room, and that, that other guy was, that other monster was trying to get me. Oh, are we back here? I still don't have anything to cut the damn thing with. Oh my god, that was way too loud. And, uh, I, I kept getting cornered in this room, and I just started throwing books at the guy. And it was v making it very annoyed. I actually don't know what to do now. I think I need something to cut those uh, chains with. Ugh. Break the lock or something. This game looks scary. It is pretty scary. It's got a very unique story for a horror game. And I, I, I only understand. I got a grasp on like... 20% of it, if that makes sense. Like it, it's hard to follow, but yeah, I don't entirely get it. Is he over there? What do I do? Fuck. I don't want to go back to the vents. I've never played the Amnesia games, but this is from the same developers as Amnesia games, so I imagine they're pretty similar. Uh, Autumn said that it is not as scary, but she likes the story better than, than the Amnesia games, so there's that. Oh. that do?
Yeah, I don't know what the hell that did. It did something, though. This is definitely more scary looking than the first stream when Autumn was helping. Well, a horror game is never going to show the scariest parts right off the bat. It's going to slowly get worse and worse. And that's what I like about it. Yeah. <laughs> you dumb fat ass bitch. Ew, look at all the like splotchiness on it. So nasty looking. Okay. okay. Anywho. The thing sounds like it has perma bronchitis. Uh, earlier I said that it sounds like General Grievous. Like, these things be coughing. I have a bad cough too, but these things are like... They are sick. With something. Pretty bad. Excuse me. God, there's nowhere to go. Good. Wait, am I not dead? What happened? Oh, there he is. That, that was weird. This game is not fair sometimes. I was, it, what, it's not letting me get up here. Just fucking jump up there, God. Great, now I'm all fucked up. Maybe that thing that we pushed in earlier made this work. Hopefully. Damn. Help me out here, Neff. What am I supposed to be doing here? <clears throat> did I see what happened at the end of the last run on Tomb Raider? I did not. I did not. Uh, I think I went to sleep before, like somewhere towards the beginning or the middle of the run. I don't know. I don't. Know. You're talking about Tomb Raider three. I don't know the levels on that game, so I'm not sure. Uh, why did something happen? Like ridiculous? Like you died at the end of the game or something? You dealt with a troll? You had to ban the guy? That is lame. I hate trolls. Like, what was he doing exactly? His comment distracted me and I died on the run. Oh my gosh. That had to have pissed you off. That would have, <laughs> that would piss me off so much. Yeah, people that that feel 
satisfaction from trolling streamers have like some pretty serious uh, self-esteem issues or something. Some pretty bad insecurities. I mean, it's just like a real life bully, you know? Like, people who do that shit are so mentally weak that they are doing literally one of the most unhealthy things you could do to cope with your own negativity. Like, taking it out on others, trying to make other people feel bad, or annoy other people, or ruin their day. How pathetic. His goal was to cause a failed run. Well, he got what he wanted, but you know what? I mean, if that's... What makes him feel good in life is being a, a piece of shit scumbag, then he'll never be happy for real until he matures. He made a comment about Trump and then made some sexual comments about himself. What was the username? Because when I was there, there was someone in the chat that I've never seen before and they were talking about some kind of odd stuff, but nothing like that extreme. Yeah, give me that juice. What do these do, Neff? I don't understand what these things do. Does it heal you? I guess it does. Sweet. Oh. Oh, man. This is stressful. Oh. Get up! There's one on each side, that's not fair. Yeah, if you can remember his username, I might be able to remember if that's the one that I was... Oh, that's real cool. That's real cool. Try to lock me in here. My god. What is wrong with these things? Go on, go on, do something else. Oh my god, look at the face. Tomb Raider community is nice. He had maybe five on Twitch altogether. Yeah, I I don't get that many trolls either though. I mean, I think just the bigger of a streamer you are, the more likely you are to deal with it. Or I don't know, who knows? Could be the game you're playing too. I don't know, man. I just. I just think that those people are losers. Blocking my path, like the way I need to go, I think, which is annoying.
Oh my gosh. Oh my good golly gosh. I guess this way. Mm hmm. Maybe the trolls live in their mom's basement, unemployed, have no life, so they troll us to amuse themselves. You're probably spot on with that. I mean, if you if you got nothing better to do with your time, or if that's the way you want to spend your time, I don't know. You get on Twitch and you want to use your time on Twitch to, or any social media, to try to like ruin people's day or upset other people. Like, what is wrong with you? You know. Alright, now where do I go in here? There it looks like... So many options. I guess we can just jump down, right? Oh yeah, I can breathe underwater. So dark. Can't see. Uh. some sugar. Now what? Down there?
Just, just jump. Okay. Get the fuck out of the way. Yikes. It's like those water rides at the, par at the water parks. Those long slides. Except, uh, you know, much more violent. This looks like the perfect stopping point. Perfect stopping point. Back underwater. I guess this is what they call the abyss. I like being out here because there's the fish. But this is the most confusing shit to me, figuring out where the fuck to go out here. You love these parts. I like being in it, but once I start realizing I'm lost and I don't know what to do, then I hate them.